Hey folks, thanks for stopping by. Today's project is going to be a pencil pot. This is a, um, a small scrap of horn beam um, that we will mount between centers, we put a tenon on it, put it in the chuck, hollow it out, and then we'll sand it and finish it. Stick around, we'll get started. Okay, first thing I need to do is cut a tenon on this end this being the smaller end, so that it'll fit in the chuck. I've already got my caliper set to the uh, tenon size for my jaws. I've got a nice flat shoulder. That's enough to grab. Let me get a um, small skew that I'll use to cut a dovetail. Good enough. I'll be back in a minute after I um, switch it around, mount this in the chuck. Alright, so I've got it reversed, mounted in the chuck. It's running fairly true. Um, since this is end grain, probably the easiest way to hollow it is going to be with a, a drill bit. So I've got a about a two inch uh, portion of it mounted in a chuck. I believe I'm going to be able to get it all the way down in. I probably want to go about there. That'll leave me enough room to cut it off, um, but it's deep enough for a, a good pencil pot. So let me This up, turn the speed way down, and we'll drill it out. Back in a bit. Alright, so apparently this drill bit is dull, so let me start with the smaller size and then use this one. Okay, so yeah, in case you hadn't noticed, I do need to sharpen my Forstner bits. I 
That's a decent depth for a pin pot. Uh, let me take a, um, try to decide whether I want to increase the width and slope the sides out. It's end grain hollowing, so it's, it's not like you can just grab a bulb gouge and go at it. I mean, you, you can, but it's better to just take a hollowing tool to do it. Let me, um, let me give it a try, put a, put a bit of an angle to the insides. The tail stuck out of the way. This is one of those carbide hollowers that has a fairly aggressive tip on it. It works best if you don't you don't hit it flat on. Rotate it a little and let it ease into it. So let me set the height up there. Let's see what this does. Yes, I realize I'm, I'm reaching rather far over the tool rest, um, but I've got it turned to such an angle that it's just taking a little bit every time. If, it, if I were truly hollowing, I'd have my hollowing rig set up so that I could uh, have a better supported cut. It's about to the bottom. Let me uh, smooth it a bit so it's not quite so hard to get all the ridges sanded out. Bad. Um, for a pencil pot, something that you're going to be putting pencils, pens, scissors, things that may be top heavy on, you don't want to make it vase shaped so that it tapers down, at least not all the way. You want some more weight on the bottom. That's why I'm not going to bother too much with the, uh, with the outside shape. I'll uh, sand it down, but I'm probably going to leave the outside more or less as you see it now. Let me grab some sandpaper and start sending out the inside. Actually, before I do that, let me uh, round over this edge with a spindle gouge. Let me grab some triple E, I'll put some finish 
on the inside. We put the uh, tailstock back up here and we'll clean up the outside, maybe put some couple of lines or burned into it and get the rest of it done. So I've marked the depth of where the bottom is going to be cut off. The actual bottom is about here, but I want to leave a nice thick bottom. For, uh, to keep the weight center of gravity uh, fairly low. Um, probably just give it a very slight taper in, mostly just cleaning up to get rid of this bit of bark that's left over. So let me pull the tailstock up with a cone center, add a little bit of pressure, not much. Shouldn't need it because it's in the chuck, but at least that'll keep it from uh, vibrating. Get my face shield and a spindle gouge, and we'll ship that. Okay, let me grab a uh, smaller skew and I'll cut a couple grooves for some lines to burn uh, with a wire. Here's the tip, if you're, if you're trying to space lines out evenly, um, especially like an odd number, do them do like the first one and the second one or the the end one and then pick the middle trying to trying to work from one side to the other spacing out lines without a compass and walking it off is, is kind of difficult
when we get a parting tool, I will part off the bottom and I'll part it off at a slight angle to make sure that it sits around the rim. And then hopefully I'll have enough left that I can uh, make a jam chuck for flipping it around and finishing the bottom. And there you have it, one pencil pot. Thanks for sticking with me. Please be sure to like, subscribe if it's your first time here, comment, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Take care.